Okay, we're moving on to part two of releases, which is topic three. Um, so this is part two of June 2019 K-pop releases. And we're starting off <laughs> not with a bang, but with yeah. a whimper. Uh, we have Eyes One's Japanese single album, Buenos Aires. You um, mean Buenos, Buenos Aires. Aires. However they say it, they Buenos say it wrong. Aires, Buenos Aires. So um, bad. <laughs> it is. Um, and what the fuck happened? Uh, because Eyes One has two utterly amazing Korean singles. Uh, and to me, like, Sukito Oaste was... It's hard to say, like... I want it, it blew me out of the water and not like because it's an utterly amazing song, but it tricked me into thinking their Japanese releases wouldn't be generic. Yeah. Because it I had musicality to it. And this song has absolutely no musicality at all. It's the complete opposite of their other music. The why are they auto tuned the entire time? <laughs> this is like exactly what I expected to be their Japanese music. And mm -hmm. so I, when their first single wasn't this, it tricked me and got my hopes up. And then they just tore me down with this second single and just disappointed me so much more than if this would have been their first Japanese single. Because if this was their first Japanese single, I'd be like, okay, this is exactly what I expected. I'm not going to enjoy it that much. It's pretty generic J-pop, like AKB48 sound, like super auto-tuned and stuff. Yeah. And... But Tsukito Wasai, like, had a lot of really good musicality to it, um, and wasn't auto-tuned a ton, and so, yeah, this was very yeah. disappointing. Yeah, it really was. I mean, it was funny, because everyone in the Discord was, like, going off when they first heard of, like, how terrible it was. I remember listening to yeah. it, and as it, as it started, I was like, this isn't that bad. And then, like, the chorus happens, I'm like, this is bad. And then, like, post chorus, I'm like, this is really bad and second I'm like oh, this is awful like yep. how does a song just go straight downhill <laughs> like, exactly oh uh, and yeah like Suki Joy Wasitai like I that was a decent song and the music video for that I think is oh stunning. yeah yep whereas this what the what yeah. the hell was this uh, music video even, yeah the music video like, I didn't even like talk it's so about low budget the color yep. grading or something about it is just like awful like yeah. uh it's it's mm, no Luckily, nope, this was a miss. Saving Grace, uh, since they don't put Japanese music on Korean television, we probably won't hear the song at KCON. We'll probably just yeah, get I don't, like yeah, we're gonna I get doubt. we're gonna get Love and Rose, Violeta, probably Airplane, Airplane. which is great because Airplane's amazing. And I want Oh My. That's yeah, the song I really want, but I don't think cool they'll do too. it. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Well, they'll probably do Rumor actually. That's what we need the I, Everglow. We need the Eyes, Eyes One, one rumor. Everglow like rumor stage. Like It'll, make it, it happen. I, it Everglow has, has nothing happen. else it's to M, do for. Exactly. And it's Mnet, like, and that song blew up. They're so. on the same night. They're on like, the same day, yeah, exactly. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get like I would be surprised if we don't get rumor. Yeah. Some sort of rumor stage. Like Everglow needs something <laughs> to perform. Yeah. So. Um, next we have Jaya from Brown Eyed Girls, a uh, maxi single, New Self, with the song Dear Rude featuring Cheetah. Um, so this is just an awesome, powerful, like, retro R&B song, which is what you'd expect from Jaya. Um, Cheetah's feature is great. I do want to point out the music video is disgusting, though. Um. <laughs> yes, the one with, like, vampires. It's vampires and, like, zombies, and there's just so Ugh. many shots of, like, Ugh. people just eating raw meat, like, squirting blood and like I, it was disgusting <laughs> so no. I had to call it out like the song's great and the music video has nothing to do with the song um but I had to point it out for the music video it's just like what <laughs> happened or like what is going on um so yeah if you want to see a weird disgusting music video go check out Dear Rude by Jaya uh, next, we have Giselle's digital single, Better This Way. Um, and I definitely put this on the list for Andrew. Um, although, <laughs> I really like the song, too. Um, this is straight up Andrew's alley, just like, um, what was her name from last part? Uh, Chai. Um, it's just like super, super smooth R&B uh, female vocalist. 
Uh, and we talked about her in February when she debuted. Um, I think she's under Million Market, uh, so she's under SM. Her music videos are on SM. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if you really like female vocalists like R and B, just super smooth voice, um, definitely check out Giselle. We've we've enjoyed both of her singles so far, and hopefully she continues getting more. Uh, next we have Kitty B's digital single anymore. Um, I guess the single is technically called Seventeen Eighteen Salem, but the single the song itself is called Anymore. Um, I thought the main thing I needed to point out for this song is the changes in her vocal style during the two different parts are just insane. Um, she starts out singing in like a higher pitched voice and then she just goes into this like deeper, more like YG yeah. style like voice and it's just it it was just crazy to me to hear both of those come from the same person. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I had I had listened to her, I guess, debut. I think this is her second song or something. I listened to her last song. And yeah, it was very like more rappy. Like mm-hmm. she wasn't like rapping, rapping, I guess, but it was a more like this was more of her singing. And yeah, she mm-hmm. like I immediately was thinking she sounds like Park Bomb or just like that YG singing YG sound, yeah. Style. Like, but she's not YG. So mm-hmm. Yeah, but she I think, Yeah. Yeah. I was I think she's better than Bomb, which I don't know because Kari is gonna jump out of I the know. screen. And but stab like the you. thing was because like you were saying how she would go like high every yeah, now and yeah. then. I thought that was really cool. Like it, like yeah. I mean, she's really interest. She's a really interesting artist. Yeah. yeah like definitely. I don't know what to expect from her right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was on on Pretty Rap Star actually. So she definitely has like that rapping. I think you're right. Background. I I had done some research on her when I had, I was getting the it was on list some of- one of the rapping competition shows because i'm pretty sure she was with casper and i think casper was on a pretty rap star Mm -hmm. um so yeah definitely check her out it's a really interesting voice uh next we have lana's debut digital single take the wheel which you wanted to talk about yeah so i was kind of excited for this debut coming up so she is russian like she is not korean at all Mm-hmm. but um so i thought that was very interesting so she's another one of those you know she was not in a group a Korean... right hmm? she was in a group right there no, was a... she's because there was a she's... k-pop group with a russian girl in it i don't know for sure the we most... talked about it in releases before i'll look it up the you most i've known about her is she's been on a bunch of like kind of variety reality show stuff okay because she is a foreigner living in korea yeah so that's been like the big thing and um she's like she's been studying the language for years it sounds like since as like, since high school or middle school but she's probably not that old <laughs> so that's really guess not that long but she's been like actually really invested i guess in learning about the culture and everything and i think it actually shows like this doesn't feel gimmicky like i don't think you would have known that she is just um a foreigner trying to be a k-pop star and i like the song it's not a bad song mm-hmm. but so I was I was very interested in this debut. Yeah. Yeah, she's it's it's she's definitely got an uphill battle. Um mm-hmm. it's the same thing with like when they put Alex into Rania and stuff like you're going to get so yeah. much criticism being like oh you're not Korean. Um like what did it, it it just it's it's hard cuz it it's so like it makes it look yeah. like a token like just publicity stunt for the company just like yeah. instead of putting out a normal k-pop group that has like good music you're using this like you're using this like to get to get like press and get popularity because yeah. like oh you're using a like russian girl or whatever so yeah it, it sucks that she's gonna have to go through that Um, yeah and like maybe it might be a little easier because she's she's already known like mm -hmm. because she's been on like all these different shows yeah so maybe it'll be a little better for her since it isn't like uh hey here's this russian k-pop idol it's like oh hey you remember her like oh she was trying she's she put out a song like i don't know yep but yeah we'll see what happens there it looks like she like she was she signed a contract last year and was supposed to debut in a group um Mm -hmm. but then did not so i guess there was a different k-pop group that had a russian girl in it so i I guess this is a different russian girl (laughs) 
because they're not the same apparently and at least based on what i could find googling okay let's move on to a mini hawks digital mixtape with the song rice cake balls featuring juan and this song is utterly ridiculous as i'd expect from minyuk uh if you don't know monster x minyuk is like the variety show genius like hilarious member um and he they just put out a ridiculous retro edm song and then an utterly insane music video with the most ridiculous styling i've ever seen so definitely just go check out this music video and cuz the song and music video are, are are ridiculous but in a good way now we'll move on to a more serious Monster X song. Uh, we have their digital single, Who Do You Love, featuring French Montana. Um, so this is their, I believe, it's their first like original English single. Um, they put out an English version of, uh, I think they put out an English version of a song before. Yeah, I, I think they did either Shootout or Alligator or both. They, I don't know if they, did, they I don't think they did Alligator, they definitely did Shootout. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is an original song um, in English. Uh, their pronunciation is fantastic, and I think the song is great. It's got a great deep house drop for the chorus. It's very like Taman esque, um, and they just sound amazing in it. What I think wasn't great. I don't like the feature, um, <laughs> and like it's not that I don't like the rap or the or French Montana. I think it just threw it off going from Monster X singing to not having I am or Juhan rap because yeah. there's just and I am grew up or like lived in the US for a long time. He's fluent in English. He could have done an English rap. And I think it just it wasn't like I wish so much that it was just Monster X and I am just did a really killer English rap. So like it it, it hurt a little bit to not hear that but overall i think they did an amazing job yeah this like honestly just might be my favorite monster x song now at least from when i've got into k-pop because i like monster x like pre like me getting into k-pop they've okay. just not like hero I, and these stuff. yeah and like after like beautiful like beautiful i love beautiful, beautiful yeah. everything after that has just been not there for me i like drama rama mm. everything else is kind of like it's just I was, they were one of the groups that I expected that I would just like eventually stand, I guess, Mm -hmm. because I kind of was going through like boy groups when I first got into K pop, and Monster X was like, they would have been the next one. And it just, it never clicked with me. But I mean, if they're doing stuff like this, I would have, I would have, I loved this so much. Like, yeah, the opening with just Juhan singing, I was just like, whoa, I was blown away. And like, the, yeah the chorus is just so chill it's a it's a great song and i'm wondering maybe if they i would hope they could perform this like here during concerts and stuff oh, they'll, i think they'll 100 percent perform so it then like concerts. then maybe have like i am do the rap or something yeah that's true that's true it. during the live performances I, that's definitely something i could see happening. like it could just be like the bts and mic drop i guess because you know yep. they can't have the designer part so they just have yeah. their parts instead so they might figure something out it's just like i don't know like yeah it's nothing it didn't ruin the song i like the the rap itself it just felt weird not hearing yeah. i am i get that hearing someone different do a rap for Plus, them there's just something kind of like i don't want to say like annoying but with k-pop idols doing english songs i don't know it's mm-hmm. like i feel like it's like i feel like they don't need to do an english song only if they have a feature of a western yeah, yeah, artist exactly that too like yeah you don't like it it seems like they rely on that as a crutch when like yeah you have a fluent english or like a rapper that's fluent in english like you didn't need a a rapper like a a native like i almost said native american but like (laughs) an american (laughs) (laughs) an american artist like yeah feature rap yeah also if you want to stand monsta x watch Monster X Ray seasons one through three because it's some of the best like idol variety yeah. reality I've ever seen. It's amazing. Yeah, I've the, heard like their shows are good. The season, I've like I I love watching them on like uh weekly idol and stuff. Yeah. Seasons one and three, they make their own dramas. 
or like parody dramas and half of them play the female roles and it's some <laughs> of the best like comedy idol comedy yeah. I've, I've ever seen it's amazing <clears throat> but that was a tangent everyone's saying mouse sex uh <laughs> next we have nct dream and hervey harvey h-r-v-y um station three single don't need your love um i think the song is fine it's kind of what you expect but i just wanted to point out dream sounds amazing in this song like their vocals in this song are fantastic the song itself isn't isn't like crazily interesting but just the vocal like quality is for a dream is amazing so i had to point it out uh next we have noir and their mini album abyss and the title track doom doom I'm gonna I'm gonna put Cooper's notes first because Cooper is obsessed with them now. We're, God, we're rating them yeah. in the rookie rating. Um, he is alone on his hill he, too. He is definitely. <laughs> um, and he said this fucking slaps hard. I don't care. I love the electronic and Moonbaton fusion noir has. Uh, and my lyric or my notes also start with what the fuck. <laughs> I thought we were getting an emo. Um, I said GG, but I meant boy group song. See, it's so confusing that we use, like, girl group, that we abbreviate girl group as GG, because I've always called them guy groups in my head, not boy groups. Oh, so I, yeah. I, both of them are GG in my head, and so I, like, type guy group, and I just type GG, and I'm like, wait, everyone thinks that's a girl group. Yeah, <laughs> um, I saw that, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were getting an emo boy group song with strings. And then the chorus happens, and it becomes, like, early 2000s K-pop, like, super EDM. And it, it, I don't know what the hell is going on, but Cooper loves it, I guess. See what yeah. I think in my rating, in the rookie rating, <laughs> if you join Discord. Yeah, join Discord, do the rookie rating. Yeah, you can win a you free album. Because this comes out <laughs> after the rating is due. <laughs> do the Red Velvet rating. Yeah, do the Red Velvet an, rating. You can win no, a you don't Velvet. win an album. For that no. one you can we'll win, do the female solo win. rating and you can win yes. an album you can also win discord nitro which if you haven't joined discord you might not know what that is but it lets you use gif emotes and that's very important in discord because there's lots of k-pop gif emotes and they're great and you can just use emotes like on un- like an unlimited amount of them like from yeah. different servers yeah that's true okay. and finally join discord. For- join discord and finally for this topic or part we have ong sung woo's Pepsi collaboration project single with Starship Heart Sign featuring Flobo and it's Ong and it's House Beats. So let's go. Because Ong is great. Stay in Ong. 